uh, a tutorial for the concept builder, which is basically the lull charts, aka energy bar charts. So I'm doing an example on the master level, it's a medium one. So they're shown down here. Um, initial state is given, so this is a cross country skier in motion at the bottom of a small hill. Final state, skiers in motion, top of the small hill. <clears throat> The system includes the skier and the earth. Resistance forces are negligible. The skier glides between the initial state and final state without any effort. So that means they're not putting extra energy in. Um, remember, there's always the help menu, which is helpful. <coughs> so it talks about the different types of energy, energy transfer into or out of a system. Um, the key here is you know the system, it's the skier in the earth, so there can be gravitational potential energy, but there's not initially. If you're unsure about what those are, here, so it goes through <coughs> what that stands for. So this is like if a person is doing work, I think about it like energy stored inside a person, um, it's chemical energy. This one, the system arrows, is for the energy transfer diagram, as I call it. And these you can use to toggle up or down. So if the cross-country skier is in motion, I'm going to say they have some kinetic energy initially. They're at the bottom of the hill, so they don't have any gravitational. So I'm going to actually up that. The skier is in motion at the top of the hill, so they're still moving, but they've gained some gravitational potential energy. <clears throat> Since there's no friction, I don't think we lose any. I don't think we have, we have any internal or thermal energy. I don't think energy leaves the system. So you have to click this to get a, a choice down here. So if you notice, hey, there it says check answer. There it says check answer. There it says check answer. So if you click, have this, it initially starts at three bars. If you keep clicking, it goes up through six, one through six. So I don't think I'm going to need any, but I just wanted to let, show you that. This one shows energy leaving the system. Again, it can go one through six. And if you don't want any energy entering or leaving the system, you just click the circle like that. So I think this is going to be it. Um, again, it should recognize when your answer is consistent. If it says, oh, drats, then that's a problem. All right, so hopefully that helps you out as an example. Always know what the system is. And again, it says, res if it says resistance forces are negligible, that means there's no friction also.